do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today we are studying chapter morphology of flowering plants in that we are studying topic phytotaxy we all have seen leaves but is the arrangement of leaves on every plant for example rose or tulsi is the arrangement of leaves same have you noticed similar arrangement of leaves probably no today we will be studying what is phytotaxy and how it is related with this arrangement of leaves phytotaxy the clear definition of phytotaxy is it is the mode of arrangement of leaves on the stem if you compare two different plants a tulsi plant and a rose plant you can notice that the mode of arrangement of leaves on both these plants is not similar even in the entire universe if you see every other plant will have different arrangement of leaves on them and this is nothing but phytotaxy phytotaxy could be opposite it could be verticillate or it could be alternate when i talk about alternate phytotaxy in this type what happens is there is a single leaf that is present at each node in the case of verticillate phytotaxy more than two leaves are present at each node and these two leaves form whorl like structure or flower like structure in the case of opposite phytotaxy two leaves are present at each node and these two leaves are at opposites to each other phytotaxy it is nothing but the arrangement of leaves on stem now phytotaxy could be opposite phytotaxy in which two leaves are at each node always opposite to each other or you can say they are always at right angles to each other the two leaves in verticillate phytotaxy more than two leaves are present at one place or at one node and this group of leaves basically will form whorl like structure or flower like structure in interlaced phytotaxy what happens is there is a single leaf or one leaf at each node present and these leaves arise laterally on that stem an example of this could be mango plant or mango leaf in this diagram we can see the different kind of phytotaxy in alternate phytotaxy what you can see is the two leaves which are present are always opposite to each other you can see how oppositely they are placed or they are grown in alternate phytotaxy whereas in verticillate phytotaxy what we observe is there are more than two leaves present at a single node or at a point and these two leaves or three leaves form a whorl or a flower like structure opposite phytotaxy what we observe is 
that two leaves are present at each node and these two leaves are basically at 90 degree or just facing each other or they are basically opposite to each other. Students, in this part of the chapter, what we have studied is about phyllotaxy of leaves, the arrangement of leaves on stems and its various forms. I hope whenever you see a plant in the nearby area or you visit a plant, you will be able to recognize next time the different kinds of phyllotaxy in that plant. I hope you all are clear about this concept of phyllotaxy. Thank you.